Welcome to Trying Something New. We are your hosts, John and... It's like pulling teeth with this kid. Why can't you just say your name? I don't want to. Speak up. I don't want to. Speak up. <laughs> Why don't you want to? Because I don't want to. Okay. Uh, we are still in the land of Germany. Today we're going to try dark chocolate covered marzipan bar first. And then we're going to try sunrise crunchy puffed rice and creamy milk chocolate bar. Would you like to read us a trivia question? <clears throat> um... Before 1920, which furry critter didn't exist in Germany? Um, what does that say? Bicolored shrews. Bicolored shrews, red foxes, raccoons, or European badgers? Um... What's the date? Before 1920. I don't know anything about shrews. Gotta be red foxes. Did they have raccoons? I thought raccoons were American. I'm gonna say raccoons. Really? Mm -hmm. Ding, 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 ding. All right, let me read about this marzipan. Looks like a big turd. Looks like you. You touching my side? I have to split it in half. You could go get a knife. The small city of Lubick has one very big, very sweet claim to fame. It's the world's marzipan capital. Back in the 13th century, Lübeck became the capital of an enormous trade union known as the Hanseatic League. So it joined, so it enjoyed a steady supply of luxury ingredients like almonds, which were used to make luxury confections like marzipan. Today, the city's sweet reputation is stronger than ever. There's even a marzipan museum featuring historical figures made out of marzipan. Ready to taste the treat centuries of Germans have been nuts for? Looks good. Ew. Wasn't expecting it to be like nougat. Oh. It tastes a little bit like dark chocolate with coconut. And you know how I feel about both of those things. Yeah, I'm not happy with this one. It's not that bad. I'm giving it a two. How about you? Um, I'll give it a three. Really? I wouldn't get it again, but... It was yeah. pretty good. It was pretty good, but I wouldn't get it again. Three is better than half. You I think know. It, you think it's that good, huh? I don't like either one of those flavors. Ugh. That was gross. Next on our list. Germany's creamier take on crunchy bars. If you loved <clears throat> puffed rice, you owe Ferdinand Schumacher some thanks. After immigrating to the U.S. from Germany, he began selling ground oats from his mill just as he'd done back home. <clears throat> from this very mill emerged the Quaker Oats Company. You've heard of them. 
No, I haven't. I don't know what that is. The Pioneers of Puffed Rice Cereal. Though back then, they marketed it as the food shot from guns of peace. As the rice was puffed via pressurized cannon. What? Did you just clean the knife with your fingers and then you're going to cut the food? I was trying to get the marzipan stuff off of it. <laughs> you need to learn some manners. <laughs> The yum in your hand is just the latest German puff rice innovation slathered in creamy, milky cream and decadent chocolate. Dakashan, thank you very much, Ferdinand. Ooh, harder than you think, huh? There. there you go. I can smell it from like so far away. It smells so good. Oh, it does smell good. It tastes like a chocolate rice cake. Exactly. It still tastes like a chocolate rice cake. But a plain rice cake. There's there's like no flavor. There's nuts in it though. I think. Puffed wheat, puffed barley, puffed spelt, puffed buckwheat, corn syrup, sunflower, natural flavors, honey and caramel. Contains wheat and milk. May contain tree nuts, peanuts, and soy. But what is that right there? Come on. That's not a nut right there? It is. No, it's a puff. Wow. It's just a rice cake. You're right. Like a thin layer of chocolate on it. I thought this was going to be so much better. It smells so much better than it tastes. I mean, it's not bad. I was just expecting it to taste better. Yeah, like, I... I wanted, I wanted more flavor. Look, the picture on the front makes me think more flavor. Like, I already know what a rice case tastes like. A rice case? I meant a rice case. It does say right there, puffed rice and creamy milk chocolate bar. It's, it's got a hint of nuttiness, which I kind of like. But then plain Jane, like you were saying, just puffed rice. I don't know what to rate this one. Would I want it again? No. Probably not. You could just go buy a rice cake. Uh, you can just go buy a, like, a chocolate rice cake. I'd rather, well, I don't think they make those, do they? They do. They do? Chocolate yeah. covered like that? No, it's just like, it looks like a regular rice cake, but it's brown. It, and it's chocolate flavored? Yeah. I don't, I've like never Like they have like those. cheddar ones, and plain See, ones, and extra cheddar, and they have chocolate. I was just going to say, if I was going to buy a rice cake, it would be flavored like the cheddar. I would do extra cheddar. Right? Those taste better than this. Yeah. Although, I, see, I'm on the fence. I, I like the chocolate. Yeah. But, seriously, you can buy chocolate rice cake and it'll taste exactly like this. Was it, was it good enough for a four? No. No, it wasn't. Three and a half? No. Not even a three and a half? Just three. <laughs> it was better than that marzipan thing. Yeah, it was better, but... And you gave that a three? It was better, but it wasn't... Not five, three and a half. All right. But... So that was disappointing. It was disappointing. What's in the yum... It's fine, I get chips after this. <sighs> What's in the yum bag? There's a cola candy. Wow. 
Coca-Cola candy. Can you see that? Little bottles of cola. Yeah, you can have that one. Okay, I'll keep that one. Are we going to have the cola? Yeah. We don't normally do the candies on this show because they take so long to eat. Oh, this is chewy. We don't want you guys to be bored. Oh, there's a cow on You might be bored <gasps> anyway, but... Cappuccino milk caramel. Ew. I want to eat this one. Oh, these are... These, oh, wait. There's are, a cow. Co does it taste like Coke? Yeah. But, like, gross. It tastes like a gross Coke. Ew. Ew. I want the cappuccino. No. It has a cow. Who wouldn't want to eat this? Um, no, because you're having chips. Yeah, but cows are adorable. Yeah, well, too bad. Save it for next time. All right, let's rate the Coca-Cola things. I'll give it up a two. Do we even have? Well, uh, we we better try the grape one because no, they're right here. Oh yeah, two. I know they're blueberry. These are blueberry. <gasps> yeah, they're blue. You sure it's blueberry? They're blue and they're shaped like blueberry. I didn't read anything about the German cola. Well, it doesn't candy. matter. It doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? See? See? Oh, it doesn't even say. Four juicy f German flavors. Hmm. If there's one thing to learn from Hansel and Gretel is that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover or a house by its cake walls. Surely, no, sure, the sparkling sugar windows might seem super awesome, but we all know the witch on the other side was, well, not super awesome. Are we doing one or two for the Coke? Cola, whatever. One. That was gross. Keep that in mind with this yum. It may look plain as you unwrap it, but one chew will reveal a succulent burst of apple, passion fruit, black currant, or grapefruit. So I'm guessing this is black currant that you thought looked like strawberries. I said blueberry, not Blueberries, strawberry. that's what I meant. Well, it does look like blueberries. A much, much better surprise than an evil witch, don't you think? Oh, this turned out to be an awful episode. These are sour. You know I don't like sour. Ew. If Coca-Cola was better than this. Oh. I like sour, but this isn't very good. That's like a half a star. Ugh. Put those back in the box. Honestly, I'd rather take the evil witch. <laughs> At least we have a fighting ch chance of decapitating her. Throwing her into the fire. I'll just push her in. You'll just push her in? Yeah, she'll try and push me in, but I'll just turn around and push her in. You're stronger than her? Yeah. Okay. She's old. She's an old weak. She's old and wrinkly and she's old. blind. Nice. How did she lure you into her cake house? I came in to steal stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Some yums? I came in to steal something. Something to eat. Some no, I probably came in to steal evidence. Evidence? Of, for, of, of her eating children. Of her evil doings? Yeah. Gotcha. You're on a, you're a, you're a. Detective. A crime solver. A detective. Yeah. 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 Okay. With that, always remember to try something new because you never know what you might be missing. And until next time, please give us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell. Anything else? Yeah, nice long weekend. You're tired, even though you got extra sleep. 
Tomorrow you don't get to sleep in, even though it's a day off. 10 o'clock. Yes? No. Bye-bye.